What's up, Matt? Hey, how are you? Oh, good, good, good. Uh, I think uh, I think the meeting is not happening. Uh, uh, this is what I'm understanding from uh, uh, from Matt Nelson. They were mentioning. Uh, uh, oh no, actually, it's you, Matt. <laughs> I oh. I know there's a meeting tomorrow to dis yeah. to sort of kick off some of the um yeah the there is refactoring yeah. work. Exactly, exactly. I think like he was mentioned, I mean, I think someone mentioned that it was actually with the 4th of July in the States, uh, the schedule moved it uh, and the, it didn't move to our schedule uh, from our consensus calendar. So I guess we can just uh, we can just keep and uh, go check out the um, the, the Hyperledger um, uh, Discord. I think they were postponing. Uh, uh, yeah, that's why, uh, that's why like I didn't know what was happening. So you yeah. think they're postponing today's one or i think no i think yeah exactly no so today is not happening apparently like with the fourth of july they moved everything like on two days so we right. just uh, we check out with uh, with matt oh there you are second matt in the house how are you matt? the yeah. invite was all screwed up i don't know I, we think this is the wrong week because of the fourth of july yeah so we will and on the calendar that I see, it's basically we pushed a week later. You go to the base calendar itself, but they're oh, kind of screwed up because I need to fix it. I was told by Hyperledger to just fix it, so I might just fix it. But what's the but what's the fix? The fix will be postponing to next week, or to take yeah, the base one and, and anticipating no, that. Yeah, and then we have the they have the back to back APAC meeting. We also have the modularity consensus kickoff tomorrow like the modularity kickoff so i don't really need i don't think we need the meeting today uh matt do you want to chat briefly about like prepping like what we are doing for tomorrow's meeting yeah yeah that's fine with me yeah um and i think i'm going to move this one a week earlier it's next tuesday yeah and we want to also move the the consensus calendar one also earlier then yeah i'll move our internal meeting as well um perfect awesome 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 uh, sounds good uh, yeah, and you guys prep the meeting for tomorrow right Matt? No? yes yeah so i think you're good to drop off francesco i know you're out of office tonight. sounds good easy easy all right easy. we'll, we'll see you then to... yeah awesome Ciao soon. Ciao, bye bye see you soon. thanks Gary. All right. Um, let's see. So I'm sorry again about the confusion, Nishal, with this meeting today. So the, the Besu Hyperledger calendar updated, but I don't think it updated everyone's individual calendars. Uh, we moved this meeting for the 4th of July. Okay, sure, sure, sure. I don't think it pushed the one. So I've moved this specific contributor call to next week. Um, but I think that we can use this time to discuss what we're going to be doing in the modularity kickoff tomorrow. Maybe not the full hour, but like 10, 20 minutes, something like that. Okay, yeah. Sure. Um, Gary. So so first of all, I, share, I shared um, two links in the base modularity channel. Um, they're, they're one, two. Have you guys seen these two links? There's this modular Besu one, um, and then the kind of implementation planning approach. Yeah. So I I had a look at these, although I I feel like maybe the first one there's a bit more in it now than when I first looked. Um, yeah, we updated these. Uh, well, I updated this yesterday, I guess, but I've, we updated these at the beginning or at the end of last week a little bit. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. So it might be, might be good for me to have a, have a, a reread of them. Um, yeah. Same. Uh, tomorrow. Yeah. So, I mean, look, uh, what I think we should use the first meeting tomorrow for is to agree upon some design goals and approaches. Like our goal is not to go into the meeting tomorrow and like fully design a solution that'll be working for everything. What mm -hmm. I think is going to be happen is that we're going to try to get on the same page around language and around basically just software engineering best practices mm -hmm. and then go forward on um the like first slice that we have which we're toying with a few different kind of domain areas that we would be looking at um like transaction management 
And like, to, again, not starting with this because consensus might be the toughest topic to decouple and to make mm -hmm. modular. So we're, we're, again, you can read these pages, but it's basically our goals are to come in with specific approach on one or more mm -hmm. uh, and then go through what that will look like. I think Justin uh, Florentine on our team will be bringing basically some diagrams about like, how would we do the transaction management and validation stack um, in terms of this kind of vertical slice approach? So, yeah, it's it's intended to be a very much so kind of like a design yeah, session yeah, yeah. and to align ourselves on process, not necessarily to come like with a hard and fast rule on what we're going to do in our approach. Gary, yeah. do you have anything to add on this on this point? No, I think you covered it pretty well. All right, we have more people joining, unfortunately. <laughs> um, hello, folks. I, I'm really, it's quite upsetting that the calendar got all screwed up today. Um, but anyway, we're just discussing the kickoff for the modularity meeting that we'll be having tomorrow. Um, all are welcome to join. Uh, we are discussing modular base soup. There's details on the wiki page. Um, the Hyperledger Base Wiki that has all the context. I think, um, yeah, if, if Matt and Nishal, you guys agree on these goals or anything like that, and there's also some discussion in the Discord in the Base Modularity channel that we are kind of just good to proceed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. You might want to reiter reiterate first, Yash, that uh, the contributor call was, was has been pushed one week, and it's just a, a calendar snafu. Yes, yeah, sorry. The um, the Beisu calendar did not reflect the movement of this contributor call to next week, um, and then following every following week after that. So apologies on that one. The uh, actual Amia call will be next week a week from today at the same time but we have the modular base to kick off from the working group tomorrow at this time as well yeah so i guess i guess matt is maybe um one thing from my point of view i guess is that there are you know there's still there's still quite a few areas of, of best who i've not sort of um touched and had a look at in detail so um uh you know i I guess I'm just keen to be able to contribute wherever I can in this in this area. So um, I might. <laughs> so I guess that's just a heads up that I'm going to ask some stupid questions as we're going through some of this work. <laughs> um, no, you're good. We feel like I feel like we always have a tendency to over design and over get into the implementation details up front, at least on the consensus team. Mm -hmm. So stupid questions and like high level opinions of best, uh -huh. best practices are kind of exactly what we're looking for. Um, like I mentioned, we I think that consensus we will take on the first kind of pieces just so yep. we can start the ball rolling, get some lessons learned kind of quickly and iterate. Yep. So any questions that you have that are like, you know, very straightforward, that is can only help steer the discussion, frankly. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just I want to make sure that yeah, I'm on the right side of being a, a useful contributor to this rather than uh yeah, slowing stuff down. Um and, and I guess also if if there's if there's stuff uh, outside, I guess, of the main line of sort of development, you know, while while some stuff is kicking off sort of in earnest to begin with, that's that's useful to send, you know, to someone like me that almost like I guess almost like a um, a learning exercise kind of thing while some of the main stuff's kicking off. If there's anything that that sort of leaps out in that in that space, then I, I guess feel free to sort of consider throwing stuff my way while while some of the mainline stuff's proceeding you know yeah I definitely well, tend well, to find um getting your head in into a problem helps you learn that area of the code better than just staring at it got you uh i'll have i'll make sure that we're sharing more information on our approach in basic modularity the channel i think there's a little bit of discussion around how we're going to accomplish this from a technical perspective so yeah. if you're familiar with dependency injection tools and stuff like that like dagger mm -hmm. like we'd love your opinion um mm -hmm. just trying to work out the context there yeah 
Okay. So I'll, I'll, I will share some more material. Any new material that I think of will go into that channel. Sure. Yeah. And, and I think, you know, there are only so many, so often you can run the run calls, right? So, so yeah, often yeah. working on, on a channel is, is a pretty effective way forward. If you, if you put enough in there. Yeah. So we'll be working yeah. on that. Um, sorry, go ahead. Uh, no, I just uh, going through the uh, channel because I didn't look through it. So yeah, I will also go through that channel. Yeah, there's some technical discussion um, that I think, again, is getting a little into the weeds before we've gotten into the actual discussion of the goals and stuff. So, you know, takes whatever's in there with a grain of salt. Those are just some approaches that the other maintainers are kicking around. Um, but I'll, I'll have the team share as much general information as we can to prep everyone for the call tomorrow. Um, with the outcome of tomorrow's call, hopefully being a direction on the first couple of modules, deciding what they are. Um, we're gonna use kind of the rule of threes of abstraction. So if you don't need more than one or two or more than one or two use cases per like module, for example, then it's not really worth abstracting or modularizing. So we're gonna be picking the kind of business domains in that area. Again, a lot of that stuff is on the implementation approach page where it lays out all of the uh, business logic kind of areas and domains within Besu. And then um, the, the, di the diagrams that I've shared, the Miro diagram that's in there as well has got some uh, more visual representation of what that looks like. That's good, yeah. So I think that of what's most of interest here is the distribution approach. So one of the goals of the modularity work is better distributions. So Matt, this is what we are talking about as far as like choosing enterprise release, public release, public mainnet release, private network release, EVM release, yeah. roll up release, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Uh, so our three goals are basically that resolution of tech debt and distribution and better client modification. Yeah. So we're not necessarily sold on if the client modification stuff is best to best serve by plugins or full modularity, i.e. if I need to customize a module instead of using the plugin API, I rip and replace or alter the module and put it back in. Right. So we, we you know, again, I think that where, since you guys might not feel as comfortable as these other folks in the code base, you definitely have software engineering experience. So bringing more around like approach and best practices will help ground the discussion a lot. Like, yeah, really sure. Way. Yeah. Yeah. That, that sounds, that sounds great. Yeah. Yep. Sweet. Any other stuff? Like we have, I have time now we're on the phone already if there's anything else we want to chat about i think again sorry about the screw up with the calendar we'll resume this uh contributor call next week which will be good because we can do a little discussion about the modularity thing and all this other stuff but if there's anything else we want to chat about today i get i get I had one question i know this is still a modularity but i guess um one thing that um there's not a lot of mention of in the um at least in the first wiki page i don't think the second one either is where it sits relative to the current plugin module um i don't know if that's I, that's because it's it's sort of a given that it's in some respects where where it's relevant it's going to follow the current plugin architecture pretty closely or if that hasn't you know if that's not a done deal where do you see it versus the existing plugin api yeah, so that's what we have to figure out a little bit, right? Um, I don't think the plugin API, we had some discussion about this the other day internally and consensus aside. I don't know if our goal is to expand the plugin API to be so unwieldy that it like is not a useful abstraction anymore mm -hmm. because it's just like everything gets shoved in there. So I think that that falls under the third goal of like client modification. Yeah. The way I laid it out in my head was the plugin API is a much simpler entry point than modifying Besu modules, let's say, to modifying the client. So if our goals are around basically ease of use and developer experience and modular and continuing down the route of the plugin API is probably valuable. If our goals are around maximum customizability, reuse of components, and like basically Besu can go anywhere and do anything, but there's a lot more like hard work to make that happen, then I think that that lends itself more to the full modularity approach where we are cleanly interfacing all of the components and you can swap them in and out at will. 
Mm-hmm. So this is what we discuss, right? Like what yep. are the goals of you all as well? Like, I don't think that I, I, that's why I, on my side as a product manager for this, like either way, I can see my team spending effort and having it be valuable. Um, but like, I want to f- find out your guys' goals too. Like from a modification standpoint, I have a feeling it's better to have a plugin API that's easy to work with and exposes X number of things versus like having to wholesale modify like full modules in the code base kind of on the fly is a little tougher, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So we, that's what we're looking to figure out. I think the approaches that we end up taking, I was initially sold on the plugin first kind of approach. I'm sort of back walking that a little bit after we've kind of dug into the technical details. I will let the engineers speak a little bit more about it tomorrow. I think that's a great question that we should note. I'm going to note it on the page as a comment. Yeah, sorry, um, Anisha. Yeah, I did did see it. It's sort of mentioned in there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think I think that would be useful, certainly for people like me, where um, uh, understanding where you know some of the discussions that have happened that might sway the decision. You know, the reasons why um why you know some of the engineering team think that the current plugins approach may be stretching it too far to um to extend it to the remit that this sort of working group's uh, aiming for any of that that background or discussion yeah that'd be really useful to read yeah gotcha i mean it's not it's mostly just chats so unfortunately it's not yeah yeah it. yeah no that's um, cool. but yeah. i'll, I'll yeah. ask i'll ask the team to put in a little bit of that color in this do- in the modular base who page awesome yeah, that'd be great. All right. Anything else? It can be this, that, or the other thing. Oh, no, nothing from my side. Awesome. Uh, um, I no, I think just on the um the second goal, the distribution side of things. Did you want to chat separately, Matt, about some of that outside of the modularity workshop called tomorrow? Um. Yeah, I owe you a review of your document. I still haven't gotten to that. No I'll worries. Do it um, yeah, it's not super yeah, long, so, and it's it's super high level initial questions. So, it's, <laughs> yeah, I think you know this can be accomplished as part of the modularity discussion and separately. So, I think yeah, let's get through the first meeting, and then depending on how we decide to approach this, it might be worth starting like as kind of another track around how we reach this goal, whether it's through modules or some other thing. Yep. Um, I think that that can be kind of similar. Like we, we there's multiple ways we can accomplish that. So let's make sure we're considering the other avenues too. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. I think um. One aim I guess I have is that in that sort of document it, it, that talks about, you know, sort of release cycle, what one or two use cases, you know, sketched out use cases for diff- a couple of different types of release might help as a useful sort of playing back some of the technical discussion. How how would that, how would those technical outcomes um, um, make easier or make harder, you know, uh, those those release cycle sort of sample use cases, I guess. So maybe that's something else for, for me to try and add into that um, that document as well. Yeah. Sweet, that works for me. Uh, I'll take a review today. I'll give you some comments. It's not very long, so I can I can yeah. get it today for sure. Awesome, cool, thanks. All right, folks, I will see you all tomorrow. I'll make sure to share as much as I can in that channel. Um, these documents are living for sure. Um, so if you haven't read them in the last couple of days, definitely maybe poke in again, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I'll make sure we can get as much detail up front. I'll have the engineers share some discussion points um, if there are any that are relevant and we can go from there. Awesome. Thank you. Cheers, man. Cool. Thank you. Catch you tomorrow. Bye. 但是我一时间